Hey there, Landon here. Just wanted to reach out to give you a quick update on what my top 10 predictions are for the Colorado housing market going into 2023. First off, I predict that there is no housing bubble. The market that we are currently in is extremely different than the Great Recession that we saw. Sure, I do anticipate that there are gonna continue to be price declines as we go into 2023, but overall, I'm expecting that there's not gonna be anything near a housing market crash this year. Two, inflation has seen its peak. Over the last two years, we had an economy that was unsustainable. And I believe that the Fed has accomplished what they set out to do with hiring those interest rates to balance out inflation. I strongly believe that the worst is behind us. Three, the 2023 market will be a mirror image of 2022. The first half of 2022 looked extremely similar to 2020 and 2021. Housing was going crazy. There were tons of offers on properties, property selling for significantly over asking price. Well, that came to a quick halt as soon as interest rates started to rise. Now, what I'm predicting is that's gonna be a flip-flop this year. This year, we started out with high interest rates in January, and over the course of the year, I believe that those are going to lower, which will mean that we'll see another pop in the market. All these buyers who have been waiting for the second half of 2022 and the first half of 2023 are going to enter the market in the summer with a slightly lower interest rate, somewhere in the 5% range. Number four, I kind of alluded to this in the previous uh, prediction, but I believe that interest rates will drop. Currently, we're seeing interest rates in the low sixes and high fives. That is actually an improvement from the end of 2022. We saw interest rates go up to the low sevens. So we're already seeing those interest rates slowly start to drop down and stay in the sixes and go to the fives. So I believe that this is going to continue to be the case as we get into the spring and summer, which like I said in the last point, is going to increase activity in the market. Number five, inventory will not increase significantly. This is why I think we're gonna to continue to have a balanced market as we get further into the year. There's still a lot of demand for buyers and not enough supply from sellers to meet that demand. Number six, not a buyer's market, but a balanced market. Over the last couple of years, we've seen such a heavy demand from buyers that sellers have been able to get away with whatever they wanted to get away with. With having dozens of offers going way over ask on their properties, they've been able to make anything they want happen. Over the last six to eight months or so, once interest rates rose, there was less demand from buyers, which has made it more, in theory, I guess, a buyer's market, even though inventory wouldn't necessarily say that. Buyers have been able to get lower prices, prices in general have been coming down, the negotiation has been mainly in the hands of the buyer. As we go into 2023, I think that that will balance out and be somewhat in the middle of both the buyer and the seller. And this is because inventory will stay pretty low and there will still be a pretty good amount of demand of buyers going into the market. Number seven, sellers must become more realistic. The time of being able to list your home as is and get dozens of offers and have your home go way over asking price, that time is over. And if you took advantage of it during the last couple of years, good for you, but this year is not gonna look that way. You're gonna have to really price your house right and be realistic with the market. If it's not selling, you're gonna have to make price reductions. Listings that are priced correctly right at the beginning are going to do very well this year. They're not going to need to cut price over and over and over again. They'll find a good deal with a good buyer and get, get off the market pretty quickly. This is leading to a more balanced market, which is at the end of the day, good for everybody. Number eight, new construction activity will not increase. We're seeing that permits for new build construction are down by around 17%. So we're gonna be seeing, especially during the first half of 2023, a lot of incentives from new builds and new, com new communities that you can move into. This could be a great opportunity, in fact, one of the best opportunities that we might have ever seen to purchase a newly constructed home. So keep that in mind as you're looking to get a new home, maybe consider a new build. Builders are finally negotiating the price a little bit and being more realistic and offering some great incentives which could be you know, rate buy downs or paying for your closing costs or you know, adding some money towards you to go towards the design center of your new home. Number nine, employment in the job markets can change everything. Right now, all the recession flags are up and it's looking like we will continue to see a recession in the near future here. Keep in mind that real estate actually doesn't do too bad in recessions. With that incoming recession, it does appear that there will be a significant amount of layoffs and job loss throughout 2023. So that could definitely be a game changer for many people looking to get into the, into the housing market this year. And number 10, 
the last prediction that I have going into 2023 is that at the end of the day, affordability will be the biggest issue. Now, like I said, we have been seeing a significant amount of price reductions in the Colorado housing market. That is great, but it hasn't been enough to balance out and make things more affordable for people, especially first time home buyers. If interest rates continue to be in the 6% range and higher, we're definitely gonna have this be an issue. We're predicting that interest rates pretty soon here in the spring and summer will be in the 5% uh, range, which will be really good for people. That will open up a lot of opportunities. Maybe even by the end of the year, we might see it down in the high fours, which would be fantastic. But at the end of the day, the hardest thing to go through right now is uh, affordability issues, especially like I said, if it, you might be a first time home buyer trying to get your foothold in the market. With those higher interest rates, it is harder to pre-qualify and lock in a home. That being said, there have been lots of opportunities and there will continue to be more where you can get things like rate buy downs from the seller where they pay you uh, out of seller concessions in the contract, let's say $5,000, $10,000 that you can then use to buy down your interest rate permanently or buy it down for the first one, two, three years. Um, more information about that, if you have questions, let me know, but it can be a great opportunity to make housing more affordable this year. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out anytime. Here's my personal phone number. You can call me or text me. I'm very available to help out. Uh, feel free to shoot me an email as well. I'm looking forward to helping you out with your real estate endeavors this year in 2023. Good luck, we'll talk to you soon.